Uh, but NBA season is right around the corner, which means it's time for a tradition like no other. The Ben Simmons, the ben Simmons off season workout videos mm. have been hitting the net. So Simmons is working with trainer Chris Brickley, and according to Brickley, Simmons is back to playing all star talent level basketball. He also said big season loading. We see it. It's hard to tell from okay, the. Okay, Ben. But we see it. I mean, jumper looking. You said it's yeah. hard to tell? I mean, I could go make a, a video. So why would he say now. that and then post this? And, uh, we're just letting people know. Sometimes you got to pop out and show, bro. But Simmons began working this summer, but in the past three seasons, Simmons has played a total of 57 games, missing the entire 21-22 season while holding out with the Sixers, dealing with a back injury and some mental health issues. Simmons played 42 games in the 2022-23 season, missed the first 38 games this past season before appearing in only 15 Ooh. games, getting shut down for the season in March with a lingering back issue that required surgery. It was Simmons' second back surgery in the last three years. So in the past two seasons, Simmons is averaging 7.7 rebounds, 6 assists. But in his career, three-time All-Star, made two All-Defensive teams, including finishing as the runner-up for Defensive Player of the Year, and has one All-NBA selection. So, if he can stay healthy, obviously, which is a big if at this point, can Ben Simmons return to an All-Star level? You're saying no? Nah. Rashad, I see you shaking your head. I'm working with the trainers he's working with. Mm. You, you think, know the trainers he's working with? It don't even matter at this point because the way he gets back to himself is playing, not doing drill. I agree with that. The drill work is not going to help him get mm -hmm. to where he was because where he was was playing transition basketball, you know, moving the ball, cutting without the ball, all that stuff. That ain't even no drill work. Ben How Simmons you know that we know. Playing? Ben Simmons that we know. No, I'm just saying, how do you know he's not playing? Where's the run at? Yeah, where's the video? But, you know, I don't know there's, the, there's run. Oh, no, but there's no, no, run. No, 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 no. There's <laughs> run everywhere in the country. And they, everybody. But how been... do you know he's not playing? Well, we'll if, he, if, he's playing we'll at that, if he's playing at that level, he would have to be playing against guys at that level. No, you know what? Well, what makes you think maybe they're not recording it? Uh, I've seen, him, I've seen him every Chris time. Brickley, he, Look, if, if Chris Brickley is recording that, he definitely record the runs, and he has yeah. runs in that same gym. Yeah. So And we got to see but the maybe run. He, maybe he there's also playing reports, somewhere else. There's also reports he's playing. That's the best run. That's the best run he going to get, right? No, no, no. Like, no. Like, that's the best one. If he's in New York, that's the best one he's no, going to get. I've, I've, watched, I've watched him. I've sat there for hours watching him. Um, and Ben Simmons wasn't a bad shooter, right? It was just like when I used to watch... Uh, Lonzo Ball. Their spot up is not, he's not a bad shooter. Like his mechanics is great mechanics, right? When you watch him in the summer, mm -hmm. he's dominant in the summer. Because what he does in the summer is he's going to pick up full court. He's going he gonna to go against James Harden, KD. He's going he's gonna to defend. Um, he, the problem is he doesn't translate the shooting to the game and his confidence gets knocked out early, right? If you tell Ben Simmons, hey, listen, average 12, 8 and 8, you can do that. But we expect more because of who, what the engine is. Yeah. And he's, uh, he's, the, he's like the old Magic Johnson. He's the old typical point guard that r really wants to pass the ball. But we're in a new game where we're like, yo, you could easily average 25 in this game. And you're too, you're really too unselfish to the point where you become ass, right? You're passing up shots that you're supposed to take. And if you don't, yeah, you're ass, right? And <clears throat> I would love to see him going full speed, pulling up for the jumper. Because I don't think he's learning how to, like, you, you've, you've, you've learned it, right? But you've learned it from a small age where you know how to shoot full speed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. A lot of guys who... Kyrie, Steph, like the shooters you learn from a, a young age know how to uh, decelerate to yeah, shoot. Yeah. He hasn't. So he doesn't know how to shoot f going full speed. So whenever you see him shooting, it's all, it looks like a slow pull up. That, that's not how your game is going to be played. So everything you're doing here is irrelevant to the game style. The game style is you're not going to walk into shots. You're going to have to come off the pick and roll, shoot. So he needs to run down full speed, shoot, run down full speed, shoot, come off the pick and roll full speed, shoot, to get the, the speed of how you need to, to lean and you know slow down and shoot those shots. So, so the training style needs to be changed to his speed style. So 
It's him and, him and Giannis is in the same way. They're so fast that if you look at them training and they're looking like they're shooting good shots, look how the shots. But what do you think about what Chris said, though? This quote, that he's back into top. Like, do you believe that? How do we know? Every year, he, every summer, he's looked like this. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying right now. Mm. The, the Ben Simmons that we grew to love was 15, 8, and 8, 17, 8, and 7, 17, 7, and 8, mm -hmm. and a lot 14, of 7, and 7, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That's somebody that if we would allow him to be himself without the jump shot, that's what he was giving us. Mm -hmm. As a point guard, 6'10", he's giving us 16, 8, and 8. Wait, what do you mean we allow him? You're like, you, you can be yourself out there. No, because no. what happens now is the perception that he can't shoot takes his eye off of who he is, and he's now okay, trying well, to become not so a shooter. Okay, well, then that's on you. No, it's not on him. Yeah, that is on you. Because his though. teammates actually penalized him, too, because when he gave up that layup that he was supposed to get and he dished it to the teammate, doing what he does naturally, penalized. That's where the confidence came from. Yep. Mm -hmm. He okay. killed his confidence right away because okay. now it's not about whether he can shoot or not because he was never really shooting like that. Mm -hmm. It's about the teammates looking at him like, why are you not shooting? Now the pressure for me shooting now, I'm missing this shit. 17, now they like, 17, why don't you get in the gym 17, and work on your seven? Why don't you get yeah, in the no. gym and work on your jump? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who booed him at 17? Who booed him? They booed Nobody. him. They didn't boo him at 17. 17, seven. 17 7 and 7. That's still that's Nobody booed him. Nobody at seven. shooting jumpers. Okay. He wasn't doing all dumb. But what I'm saying is nobody talked bad about him at 17. 17 he was killing. Okay. He when, was killing. Rookie of the year. There, that's when we need you to shoot. We need you to make a jumper. I know you got to shoot that. started saying that when, he, when you said he tossed the That's ball. That's what I'm saying. But the okay, confidence but of everything we're saying about him being in there with that guy, so that thinking means, that he's going to be back to his form doing this shit that they doing, ain't got nothing to do with none of that because that ain't the Ben Simmons who grew up doing the shit that we love. So it's everybody's fault why, his, why he's not playing in his career, the way it's going. What do you mean it's everybody's fault? Because you said, well, we don't allow him to be Ben. Like, why, why do we have to allow him? It's just who is like, it's just like, like just, Greek. It's just like people Greek. Sitting in a the y'all want Giannis to develop a jumper. That's up to Giannis. Right. If but Giannis, Giannis wants to. The people want him and the, and the analysts that's, and the former that's players. Fine. That's, that's cool what the people it's want. It's the same thing. No, but it's what Giannis wants. Giannis wants to become a better shooter. So Giannis is going to go in but there. But we're going to criticize him until he does. Okay, and you still did, and he's still in there and working even, every and day. Even when he does, we're still going to criticize and, and, him about so, that. And he's still in there working hard every day. The thing with Ben Simmons, regardless of him being in there with him and him saying, oh, he's a peak, he's going to get back to himself, it's like, if he ain't being the old Ben Simmons, how he gonna do this being a new Ben Simmons? Well, but my thing is like, if 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 the team if the team is cool with with him being the way he is, like it really doesn't matter what we think. But what happens or what if the we team want. don't agree? Like the, the team wants him to have a jump shot. Well, if the team is like, oh. listen, you need to get a jump shot or else. Well then, he got to he got to figure that Doesn't out. Doesn't that mean everybody on the team? Absolutely. But, uh, uh, don't team everybody on the team? Gotta do, but don't everybody like on the team got to have a jump shot then now? Everybody no, on the team no, to have a jump shot, no, right? Why not? No, so no. we should shoot 60% as a team, because then, if you're going to demand it to Ben, why would you demand it to everybody? Because Ben is... Because we can all shoot. So it's a different... But everybody's it's, role is yeah. it's different. different. Every no. role is different. But making buckets is not different. Making buckets is making buckets. Patrick is a defender. So is, is, is the coach going to him and saying, Pat, I, I, I need you to be a shooter? Is, is the coach doing I'm it? I'm asking. No. OK, so then everybody doesn't have to be a shooter on the team. But they're asking Ben to do well, things that who, he didn't but, have. But so why did the team didn't help him then? If you ask me, OK, well, then get me in here then. Where's the coach? Well, Where's well, everybody well, 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 You think, asking me to go I think we're looking at. I think we're looking at something wrong here. What we're looking at is this. Rookie of the year. All-star, defensive player of the year, third team all Defense. NBA, yep. all-star, fourth in voting. The very next year, the year he gets booed in Philly. He was number he was a first team all defense. He was an all-star and he was a runner up to defensive player of the year. Right? Mm -hmm. That was the year he got booed. Okay. Right? Then they gonna boo everybody. Right? So he got booed. That was the year he so the year he got booed, he almost won defensive player of the year. So he could have broke a record that year. So that, the, the playoff series, that was the year everybody's like, oh, Ben Simmons ain't shit. Right? Mm -hmm. The following year is the back injury. 
wink, wink, and Doc <laughs> fucking with him. Yep. <laughs> right? Yep. That was that year, right? So he didn't play that year. The very next year, he's in Brooklyn, right? Back injury, mm -hmm. right? Because he has a lawsuit from Philly because they, they, they said, you withheld, you wasn't injured. Mm -hmm. So in theory, he can't play the next year or you did it on purpose. Yes, so the it's back yeah. injury, yeah. right? Last year, back injury, right? So the, what we're talking about, he actually hasn't played. So we're judging, we're judging him now on a year he has, he has not played a season since first team all defense and runner up to defensive player of the year. Yeah. So he actually, actually really hasn't performed yet. We've just seen a dude come in, play a couple of games, then leave. And that's what we're judging him off of. When his real last season was 14, yeah. 7 and 7, second defensive player of the year. So we, we, we don't know what Ben Simmons is going to get. We've been getting a wink, wink, hurt defensive guy that is waiting for his money to kick back in. But, but not only that, we see sparks of the old Ben, which is the Ben still without a jumper, right? So he'll go out there and give you eight. Nine and in like seven, seven well, so right? And we'll be seven, like, seven, we'll be so like, well, Ben, he's been giving us seven, seven, and seven. So, but it's looking like he ain't really been. It's just nasty because so he's not making shots. And like it's all, like, all we, I guess, at this point is, is he gonna play sixty something games healthy? That's really all it is. Um, he really hasn't. Is he mentally there? Get away from them trainers, man. Just go You know what's so funny? Like, I'm going to just be honest. Is he mentally there? I'm going to just be honest. That's setting up expectations, man. I just probably think it was bad strategy because what happened was, and since this time has passed, what happened was this. When Doc got there and they had the disagreement or whatever happened in the playoffs, um, and, you know, the blame went on him because he didn't take that shot. That was the end of it, right? Mm -hmm. And Doc threw him under the bus, and B threw him under the bus. So for the most part, he probably didn't want to go back there. They said they were going to trade him. They didn't trade him. Now you got to go back to the team. Well, I'm not coming back until you trade me. Now, well, we're going to fine you, right? So now he's going back to the team with the notion of I'm not playing. Their notion is we're going to fine you until you play, mm. right? And that's what, remember, that's what happened. The f oh, he has a cell phone in his pocket. Remember the bullshit when it was just a water bottle? Oh, the cell phone, we're going to suspend him. They was never uh, planning on playing him because they thought he was just going to fuck around so they can find him out of that money to get him to play. So there was never going to be Ben Simmons playing in Philly again. So they were just trying to figure out, is he going to sit, he's going to find, then a back injury, then a mental. So he's trying to figure out how not to get on the court. They're figuring out how to find this nigga, right? So think about all the money they couldn't find him on, right? Came up to what, 20 something million, $18 million. So he gets traded. Now Philly's like, I don't want to pay him this money. Well, my back hurts. Now, now here comes the acting job. Now he has to <coughs> his back really hurts. So we don't really know what's going on with the back. We don't know if this is, we don't, put it like this, when that check clears and say, you get this money, Philly give him his money, I guarantee he goes back to being an all-star. Mm. 17, 9, and 9. But don't you feel like it's long yeah. enough, though? Two, two back has surgeries got, in the last three years. I'm just saying. This, has he had back surgery? That two back surgeries in the last year. He had back surgery in March. He did? Reportedly. Yeah, probably back in March. You feel like the people that was representing him did a good job helping him? But, 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 we, you know how it's one of those things, man? So, you fake an injury to the point where you actually get one? <laughs> you know, I'm karma? I'm, I'm asking. No, that, that's karma. Who's his agent? Huh? Well, Who's his agent? Clutch. I'm, I'm asking. Did, he's no longer, did, no longer over here. Right. So he's no longer with them. Do you, do you think they did a good job of helping him? Helping him with what? In the situation that whole he was thing. going through. That whole thing. We don't know. That we, to be honest, you don't know if the situation is good until it happens. Well, well we saw it. I mean, it so, didn't play out well. It didn't play out well at all. To who? For Ben. For him. So he didn't, I don't think the right he asked him, like, what, throughout the whole Ben situation, like, like everybody, what was his representation you, you remember, doing to stop the bleeding? You remember when it, when it first happened, you remember I was like, if I'm the owner, do I want this player? It's like, it's like, you know, you're at the restaurant and you cuss out the cook, right? And you and the cook got a disagreement. <laughs> you really want the food the nigga cooking? Hell no. No, so <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what you're going to do. Yeah. If me and you ain't getting along, I don't trust you on the court now. 
You might kick the ball in the stands. You might throw the guy. I don't, I don't trust you, so I don't plan on playing you. So Philly, 1,000% never planned on playing Ben Simmons when he came to training camp. They were trying to figure out ways how to find him out of his money. So, and, why, and he pulled why? the back injury, and he pulled the mental on them before they can pull it. So why do you say they never planned on playing him? That was a doc decision going into yeah, it. it was, not to play him. We not, I'm not fucking with him. I'm not fucking. So who wanted him? And when? As far as after, so on the team? Yeah. The I teammates. Think, I, I think his teammates wanted him, but I think Doc put the riff so tough between everybody, making it obvious that like mm. being ain't cut out for it, like he's not our our star guy. Like when he made that comment. Yeah, yeah remember he's remembered yeah. he's not our like it was. So so I, I didn't watch him play very much in college. Mm-hmm. But is his game that much different from what he did in college versus the no. pros? Like no. he actually, we actually didn't think he would do what he did in college in the pros. And he actually did that. He, so he was better in the pros than yeah, college? Yeah, he transitioned quite smooth. It was smooth. He's a 6'11", 6'10", point guard, unselfish. Left-handed LeBron James. Yeah, but there's even talk about that, too. Is he really left-handed? I mean, he's he's showing. Yeah, he 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 doesn't matter though. Because he's ambidextrous. Like, he's ambidextrous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so that's when, a good when thing. he goes yeah. right, I'm that's saying when he goes thing. right, it looks good. But he shoots left, and it's kind of like. Eh. So he might be a right-handed look. person that just shoots left-hand basketball. Yeah. It's like the reverse bronze. Yeah. So yeah. is is the the question? Is he healthy? Right? Like you said, he had yeah. two back surgeries. Two back surgeries past recent. So according to Chris McLear's trainer, he's healthy. He's been playing. Other reports say he's been playing five on five for a while now, he's ready to come in. And the other caveat as well is he's in the last year of his deal, so. And, and that, his that first did, back surgery was when? Uh, I believe a couple years ago from now. And, the, and then the second one? Was March, so he okay. came back, missed the first 30 games, came back, I think first game back, almost had a triple-double, showed some flashes of the Ben Simmons of old, then ended up having back surgery, it, getting and shut the only, the only reason why I ask that question is, as someone who's had back surgery and tried to come back and play, like, it, I still have issues with my back, but my point being, if 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 people are questioning, like, is he healthy? Like, only he knows mm-hmm. if he's a hundred percent and ready to go. Because coming back from a back surgery, like, was the worst comeback injury rehab, all those things that I ever went through. Mm-hmm. So the fact that he just had back surgery, just say two years ago, there there's a possibility that he could still not be 100%. She had the second one in March. Yeah, the second yeah, one like, in March. Like, shut back down surgery for is, ain't no yeah. joke at all. Is it, well, you know what's so funny? I'm going to go with Chris Brickley. If this is his contract year, then everything he's done in the last three or four years becomes mm. a bad decision. Mm. Because you chased $18 million to lose out on... A hundred and something, yeah. right? Because you're only going to get paid off wow. what you did in those since then, and which has been nothing. So that means this 18 million that you tried to chase and missed all these games kind of fucked you at the end. Yeah. So mm. I believe he's going to be healthy enough to try to get back Shit. to that max money. So if he goes out and averages 18, 8, and 8, <laughs> 18, 18, 8, and 8. Is good as 1888. He gets back. And, a, and especially for someone not who's not considered that. a shooter. Oh, I, I think not going to do that. I think so. Uh, this is contract year. You think this man is going to go back from being? His mind is so fucked up right now. Yeah. But the only thing he can do is go out there and rebound and pass. That's the uh, only thing he's going to be efficient. You don't think he's going to look at the rim? I don't you think, think he's going. You think he's going to allow? I think I'm in thinking. transition he'll dunk it if he gets a chance. But the way he played when he Man. came back, that how timid he was. You know how you he, have to play him at the four or five. You know how no. niggas you gotta play him at the four or five. You know how niggas play when it's on their contract year, dog. That part. He can, he's different. No. 1880. You said he's different. He's different. Hey, hey, I'm giving him eight. He gonna he gonna average anywhere from 15 to 18, eight and Wait. eight, and they have to give him now a three year, four year, hundred million dollars. This is, we already what? we know that's, we know who Ben Simmons is. This is this Wait. is not pre Ben Simmons. We don't know the scout report. We know the Sky Report. Ben's not giving us 15 out there right now. He's giving us 15. So is he is he a hooper or a baller? <laughs> Don't do that. Is he a hooper or a baller? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Ben's a, I would say Ben's a, mm-hmm. he's a hooper. Okay, mm-hmm. I was going to say. He's a hooper. Yeah, he played both sides of the ball. You a hooper or a baller? 
<laughs> yes, so you got to fuck your mom. But, but you got to you oh. respond. You don't have to respond. But my question is, but don't you think just as a as a competitor, though, like, you know, Ben, he's hearing all the shit people are saying. Mm -hmm. So you're saying you got to play him at the four or five. Don't you think he's like, you know what? I hear all the noise. No. Nope. I hear what people saying. No. You don't think? No smoke. If I can sit in the back, like the Homer, the Homer Simpson you meme, you know when Homer's against the, 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 the hedges and then he sinks into the hedges? You said Homer Simpson? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Homer yeah, Simpson. No. Yeah, so that's Ben. No. That's Ben no, when he's on no. the floor. Really? If no. you could give it to me, no. and I can make some, if I can make he, a pass. That, no, he's It's not. like his staple. If he's comfortable doing what he does, he'll do it all game long. Rebound it, let's go push it, I pass it. But, Anything but, else? But, as a, but as, a point I'm guard, as a point guard, do you not want that from your point guard? Yes. 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 So then why, yeah, why that, is that? Why are people asking for more? That's what I was only, saying. Why are you asking the only, him to do what he doesn't do? He's the only point guard that everyone asks to do more scoring. Yes. yes. The only point guard. Why? Who? Because, he's, because he's 6'10". He's 6'10". <laughs> He can see, he's six ten, very athletic, fast as fuck, and jump, so, dunk, so, everybody. So he's basically Giannis with vision, and you technically can't stop him. Yeah, he stops himself by being unselfish. mentally, mentally like stopping if, himself. If Ben Simmons wanted to average twenty eight, there's nobody built in the mm. NDA at his position that can stop. I agree with that. Right, so yeah. it's not like yeah. someone guards yeah, him. I agree with that. He he guards himself, and that's what frustrates. So when you're watching as a teammate sitting him in practice, and he's sitting there coming down full speed, Euro dunking on you, and then you get in the game, and, and he's then passing up, and then he's passing up, and you, the defense is like. Whew, <laughs> he was like, come on, dawg. Like, come on, dawg. Shoot that shit. Go, 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 take this motherfucker. And he's sitting there trying to fill this stat sheet of 18, 8, and 8. I think he probably, at some point in this time, said, I want to try to average a triple-double. I want to be a 12, 10, and 10 guy. Yeah. And I think that, that illusion kind of got the best of him. When if you want to average a triple-double, you have to be offensively aggressive. Yes. You have to yes. attack so yes. much it opens everything that it up. opens everything up. You, do. you can't get assists if everyone thinks you're not going to shoot. Right. So if yeah. I don't think yeah. you're going to shoot, I'm going to play off of you. Then I'm going to play off of you and everybody's going to just guard their fans. But if you sit here wow. trying to dunk yeah. it every time, like Giannis can average 10 assists. And that's what Ben was doing. You think yeah. about he's turning the corner, dunking Dunk that bitch. Just, yeah. Boom, everybody opened the game up for him. But I think he, I, I really think he's going to he's going to turn that shit over this year because he, he, he has to. Like, his biggest six years is when he's averaging the most points. Yeah. So you're saying just, we'll open up the floor, though, on the offensive side. He's got to be a threat to score because if... I was, I was told that, that you... Because you, I was like, man, I remember that year. I was mentally like, you know, they're, they're saying I don't pass the ball enough. I need to get... <coughs> and they said, and I, I'm passing more. Assists ain't changing. And the general manager come to me and is like, for you to be a threat and get more assists, you have to attack more. You have to be more aggressive. More aggressive means they're stopping you easy dump offs. Now you look at how Westbrook, James Harden, Luka, Trey Young, the reason they average all these assists being scorers is because they're attacking so much that the defense has to help. He has to be like that. So I'm, I, but when you say he duck smoke, you can't duck smoke if you are a defensive player. Because that means that this defensive player, to make first-team defense and to, to be a defensive player of the year as a guard, that means you're taking on all challenges. That means you're sitting there saying, I'm guarding KD, I'm guarding Booker, I'm guarding Braun. I'm, I, you know what I mean? So I can't mentally, I can't say mentally he's not there if his, his, his main option is going in and taking the challenge of stopping the best player every night. Day. You know, I mean, that's being like, offensively but, not aggressive, that's another thing. Well, but when you, you say he's mentally like there, this nigga wants to stop the niggas who, who, who is on first team all offense. But you talk about this when the liability of a defensive player like Marcus Smart mm -hmm. having two guys on the court that can't score. That's a liability. Yeah, yeah he's a liability. Right? He becomes so, a liability so sometimes. When we look at Ben and it's like, if you're not going to give us this scoring capacity, as teammates, we're looking like, what, what are we doing? Like, they're complaining that you're, you being on the floor is not helping us because yeah. you're supposed to score. And if we're not, 
you're in the gym and you're trying to get your jumper rights taken away from the things that you should have been doing, which is attacking, like you said with Westbrook and all them, putting pressure on the defense by being more aggressive. Now everybody's getting open more, but you doing drill work, you thinking that, oh, if I go get this jump shot, it's going to make my life a little bit better because my teammates will like me a little bit more and have confidence. You don't need a jumper. You don't, you you don't, don't need none of that. You just don't need, need to 16, go out there and play. You know, 16, you don't need a jumper. If they're going to, if they're going to, if they're going to sag off, eat up that space. Keep coming. All right? You have to, they're sitting at the free throw line. You have the three-point line. Drive to the free throw line. What are they going to do? Back up more? All right. Euro dunk. Like, it's the fuck? I'm 16 and I'm, I got a 6'4 <laughs> four nigga photo. guarding me, right? 16 and a 6'4 nigga guarding me. I'm not backing him down because I'm scared that everybody's going to think, and when I turn it over, they're not going to like me. <laughs> so then I got a big man on me, right? Nobody now I'm at the 4'5". So this is me at the point. I got a 6'4 nigga <clears throat> on me. I won't take him to the post. I won't create a mismatch. Okay. Now I got a big man on me. 16, I'm, I'm playing the 4-5. I don't want to drive by them and dunk on them because I don't got that confidence no you, more. So you don't, you, don't think, you don't think he needs a jumper? A little something. No. A little something. But if, you, if you're saying he needs to be a threat on the because offensive if, side, if with I'm that help? If I Giannis start got a you jumper. and you're not a shooter, of Giannis course I'm going to play off of you. Jumper. It would be nice. I shoot that mm -hmm. motherfucker. He can shoot. It would be nice to know that you got a little 10- to 15-foot jump shot. But think about it. It works. <laughs> that, that method works on a guard, right, where I, I can sit at the free throw line and say, shoot it. So is right? he not a guard? Even, even if he eats up the space. I'm, you know, 6'1", 6'2", 5'9", you can't yeah. shoot. Yeah. I can sit there. When you're 6'10", there's only so much ground right. you want to give a 6'10 athletic guy. Like, how, how far are you going to back up Giannis before now that, that dunk looks more... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right? It's like, he will jump from here. Man, <laughs> um, this is where he's like, wait, hold on, nigga. This. And before, like, you sitting under the free throw line, at some point Giannis is like, oh, shit, it's dunk mode. Yes. Same thing with, 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 in, um, with Ben. There's only so far you can back up before the brain triggers and says, wait, I can jump from here. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you're in charge mode. I'm going to sit here and, and jump, and I can just float this in. That becomes a problem. Okay. Now, let's just be honest here. Well, see, that's different for me. Oh. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I get yeah, that. Yeah. I get that because I'm thinking about, like, on the women's side, mm -hmm. right? Because ain't nobody going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. on the women's side, if you play off of me, like, you got to have, you got to be able to shoot the ball. But, I, yeah, I totally get so that. So you knowing that they can't shoot the ball, what are you doing as a defender? You oh, know when, I, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to guard you. You're not going to guard her. Which, like, that happens with Alyssa, Alyssa Thomas. Yes. I watched the game the other night, and back I way think off. it was Nafisa Collier. Yep. Nafisa Collier is pretty much standing in the paint saying to A.T., shoot it, because they know she can't shoot. But on the men's side, it's totally, yeah. I get it, I get it. Yeah, you said they're motherfuckers. No doubt. Free yeah. Now, this, yeah. is, this is a question we have to <laughs> ask ourselves. We've seen what a great, a great coach does with Steph Curry. Right, put him in situations to be great. Uh, it, it, the, the offense is created around his skill. Right, we've seen the offense created around Giannis. Mm -hmm. What would you have done with Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid that we never actually seen? Have we ever seen a pick and roll? I'm about to say a pick and roll. Right. We've never right. seen pick and roll. a fucking yeah. on the left side. Yeah. Of, because Embiid is right-handed, he wants to be on that side. Mm -hmm. Ben Simmons ain't turning the corner like that, on going the right, on the right hey, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've never seen them below the free. You want to keep going below the free throw line? Set the pick right here. Let him come downhill on his left-hand side. Yeah. What are you going to do, switch it? Yeah. You're going to switch a pick and roll and put a smaller guy on, ben, on, on Embiid? Mm -hmm. They can't go under, and B's going to roll. So that means you have to follow. You have to follow him around. Now he's on your hip with your left-handed guard coming down a lane. Now, wh what oh, are you going to do? He, he can dunk it because he's athletic. Worst case scenario, you block that, throw the lob to MB. It's a You never played the one, two. You could have played the Stockton and Malone with these two. Mm. Shit, even, even the Lakers are smart enough at some point to do Braun and AD <laughs> and got some. You yeah, never yeah, yeah. use them two in the pick and roll. Who the fuck was stopping it? Mm. Mm. That becomes a coaching problem then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, where you never maximize mm. the greatness that you actually had. Because there's no way you... It would have been either ISO. <laughs> there would have been three off. ISO, Embiid. Pick and roll, Embiid, and 
Ben Simmons, uh, ISO Ben Simmons on the post. Yep. Don't, that's, I, don't, I don't need no fucking other plays. Nope. Yeah, I run some decoy shit where these two are doing the pick and roll, then we have JJ run up off a, of, yeah, I would have did something. Like, but other than that, this is the offense. We knew when we're playing San Antonio, there's only one fucking play that's going to be called red wedge roll. Tony Parker pick and roll with Tim Duncan on that, that one side. If we fuck up, turn, Parker's going to turn the corner. Other than that, get a little space. Tim Duncan going down there. Let's go, God damn it. The ben, the, ben, the, ben, the ben Simmons we loved is not the Ben Simmons that they would accept today because he's not shooting that jumper. Ain't nothing changed with Ben Simmons. Like he said, he been hurt, but he ain't really been hurt. So he just ain't played since he been Where's he fourth at? year. Where he play with? Brooklyn. Brooklyn still? Yeah. Brooklyn not gonna let him come out and be seven, the star player. And and they, well, here's the, here's the thing. So two two things. First, we, we asked. Brooklyn ain't got no star. They don't player. got nobody, but they're not just gonna be like, yo, here, you do it. <laughs> now, no, now you not? see why. Now you see why I said he could Thomas average over there. 18, 8, and 8. They Thomas have nobody. They ain't got nobody. They don't. They, don't. So let's they, handle they have right. nobody, so right. he can go out that bitch and do whatever he fucking wants. You're right. Let's handle some business first. This football season went up to 1,000 times your cash every game day. Only on Underdog. Just pick higher or lower on your favorite player stats, like touchdowns, yards, and so much more. Millions of fans from all over the U.S. have won over a billion dollars on Underdog. Underdog is offered in 33 states across the country, and this season, they'll be running a special bonus or promo almost every single day. Every day. Sign up for Underdog today using promo code GILL and you'll get a free pick as a part of your first cash entry plus up to 1000 in bonus cash when you deposit. Again, that's promo code GILL. Cash in on every touchdown this season with Underdog. We did it! <laughs> so we asked the chat, will Ben Simmons return to an all-star level? 76% said no, but to your guys' point, Nets in rebuilding mode, traded Mikael Bridges over to the Knicks. Uh, according to Vegas, they are picked dead last in win total for this season mm. at 19.5. So doesn't that give Ben Simmons an opportunity in his contract year, last year, highest paid player That's on this right. roster right now, to play freely and just go out there and... and, and he, has no, he has no reason. He has no reason to play team ball in a sense, right? Because they have no one. And for them, if I'm the organization, I want you to average 20-something. So... so there's trade value in you, right? Because what ends up happening is you can walk this summer if you're playing bad, and I don't really get nothing for the potential you had, right? But if you go out there averaging 28 and 8, uh, trade deadline, you became a valuable piece for me to trade and get back some pieces. Yep. Send them to L.A. Hmm? Right, though? But that's what I'm saying. But now think about Ben. He hooping. Now, I mean, now, if he hooping, you can send think LA. about Ben Simmons. Let's say Ben Simmons is averaging 14, 8, and 8, and they got to trade him. Now think about he automatically is in heightened to any team he goes to. Because one, you're getting an all-NBA defensive player. So your defense changes overnight. Phoenix Suns. Yeah. Right? You, you're thinking about teams that can mm. just, he can just fucking automatically wow. change that's the roster. But who do you can, come off? Who do you come insane. off of if you're Phoenix? You can go build in a point guard because he covers the point guard position and he covers the defensive power four center spot. I see that, that one. I see that one. Yo, I, as soon as he said it, I'm yeah. like, yo, whoa, that's crazy. But there, that's what I said. So yeah, if I'm, if I'm, if that changes Phoenix's whole everything. Yeah. Well, that's what, everything. There's, there's gonna be a West Coast team that is gonna benefit. If Ben Simmons is playing Ben Simmons basketball. Because Ben can go in there and rebound. Because he'll guard the best no player. No pressure. Player, no pressure. pressure. No. And he's passing all three of them niggas the ball. Like, y'all no, come off. I, but I think what Gil's saying, you got to come up they off can, of they can, they can trade. They can trade the Bill in a point guard or Bill or somebody. They can, they can move a piece, pieces, get some young shit in there, and now you just inherited, uh, one, a defensive player and someone who's willing to pass the ball. Yeah. Now you're talking about a KD, Ben Simmons, pick and roll. Like, and you, rebound, too. Yeah. And he rebound. Mm -hmm. And, uh, GM Gill. Uh, oh, I respect it. Shit, I mean, Ooh. Dallas? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, well, they got points. They already got, they, they, they need the ball. They got points, they don't got defense. Yeah. Right? Remember, you yeah. got to think about the yeah. defense is what you inherit. You know, him being unselfish, that's cool. I got Luca. Now I got to, you know, him in, in the pick and roll. Think about it. He, become, he can become Draymond Green. Oh, now. God, on that Dallas team. Mm. Think of that, I don't need him you to don't be need him Simmons. I'm about to say you don't need him to score. I can be he can be my Draymond yeah, Green. Yeah, he can be Draymond on that team. Yeah. So now when they I don't go have small no four. Ball, now now I can go small ball. Yes, yeah, he don't got no four. Mmm. <laughs>
That was a great move for them. Mm -hmm. so, as I pointed out, Simmons in the final great years mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. of his deal with the Nets, uh, he'll make $40 million mm -hmm. this season. Luka Kai, Clay, mm -hmm. Luka Kai, Clay, scary. Ben. Sorry. And then Gafford? Scary. Gafford or Lively? Yeah. <laughs> or Lively, yeah. Yeah. He cleans up the small ball yep. situation. That could be scary. But that's what I'm saying is that's, that's what's going to, that's what the potential of happening if Ben Simmons, because Nets is not going to want to pay him because they're in rebuilding. And they can't let him walk if he's balling like that. So there's going to be a Ben Simmons. If he's balling, there's going to be a Ben Simmons trade at the at the break. So Ben got to February. Yeah. Just ball out to yeah, February. Yeah, February. Yeah. So Simmons in the final year's deal is going to make forty million dollars this year.